So what do you think the uh, trailer's gonna look like? I'm really hoping it looks really good. If you've been following along our journey, you know that two weeks ago we had to drop off the trailer and head down to California. To spend Christmas with our family, JC had to run an ultra marathon in San Jose on New Year's Eve. But today, we take the long journey back to Washington and start our trip down the Pacific Coast Highway to start season three of The Adventures 3. I hope you enjoy. Just arrived here in beautiful Olympia, Washington. I'm incredibly nervous. I'm incredibly nervous of what the trailer's gonna look like. We've never left it for more than like a few hours at a time. And uh, the good news is it doesn't look like anyone broke into it. But overall, I think, uh, I think everything's from the exterior looks okay. No one pried anything open, which is exciting. Should we go inside, Chase? Yeah, but they cleaned it. The rain cleaned it for us. That's true. It I does look a little less dusty. Mm-hmm. Remember in Arizona, it was super dusty? Yeah. When we left this thing, our truck only can hold so much uh, stuff, and we didn't really want to carry like the, the lithium ion batteries or the solar generator or the regular generator. And uh, so we left it in the trailer, which is not the most secure place in the world. Let's take a look. Looking good. I mean, we gotta check all the systems, but I think it looks pretty good. It looks pretty good. Way better than I expected. I think that it gave the trailer some time to uh, get rid of all the condensation from the last few uh, weeks that we were living up here in Washington in the rain. What are we gonna do? Hook <laughs> okay, up. Hook up what? The trailer. And where are we gonna go? To the beach to watch whales. Overall, there's not a lake inside the trailer, which I was terrified of. For some reason, but seems like uh, seems like the uh, the old Outback is held up quite nice, which is which is a relief to say the least. It's a uh, you know when you call this when you call your RV your home and you leave it for a couple weeks, you just these things aren't made to they're just not made to really withstand a lot of weather, I guess. And hopefully we'll take off to the beach maybe tomorrow and uh, finally hit our destination of the. Pacific Coast Highway. Pacific Coast Highway, here we come. When you put your hand in my jacket, I'm thinking so irrational. You flew me international now. We can spend hours reading the signals, but that's so unoriginal. What if we took this back to my house? We just got on to the Pacific Coast Highway. Highway 101. We finally made it. Just like that. We were on 101 for about, you know, 800 feet, and now we're on Highway 105. All right, we have made it to our Harvest Coast destination for the night. Um, it looks really cool. Um, we are just going to try to get the trailer a little bit more level than it is. The sides are pretty level, but we're a little bit off. So we are going to pull out our fancy Anderson blocks and try to get it just a tad bit more level for the evening. If I told you I was ready right this minute, do you think that it would turn you around? I just feel like you need to know. If I told you I was ready right this minute, would you just run off and say... My goodness, it is chilly here. Um, but I think we're looking good. We're, um, thank thankfully... We have the Level Mate Pro and it's still working just great, so it didn't take long to get level. Um, using all, all of our resources and I think, I think this is gonna be a good spot for the night. Good morning. Beautiful day here in Washington. We uh, spent a great night at a harvest house, which we did not get to enjoy because as we woke up this morning, um, well, we uh, have some water water pump issues, and I have no idea how to fix that. But I recently changed this out,
because we had a bad city water connect. But for whatever reason, when we were trying to turn on the water pump, it just doesn't turn on. Check the fuses, check the switch, made sure the house battery is fully charged, which it is. A couple of issues that are just popping up that I'm not real excited about. It is what it is. We'll hit the road, continue our journey south, hopefully. And along the way, we're gonna have to get a new water pump. But until then, this is just one of the frustrating aspects of full-time RV living. It's not the fun part. It's not the part that you see in glorious YouTube videos of, what is it, glamping or? This isn't glamping. This is roughing it. <laughs> Left blinker check, right blinker check, and flashers check. What did I ever do without us? You thinking about it is a dangerous thing. Feels like it's about time. Well, we made it to beautiful Long Beach, Cala. No. <laughs> made it to Long Beach, Washington, which Caitlin has mentioned to me over and over and over again. So we had to just keep driving and go because, well, there were no other options. I am totally booked tonight, sorry. But tonight we're gonna stay at a Harvest Host um, at a golf course somewhere on the ocean, which I'm excited about. We're gonna forego with the RV repair, just add it to the list of stuff that JC gets to work on uh, as soon as we find a place where we can spend three or four days and we can, we have access to like parts. Technically I have running water. So it's gonna be we're gonna be roughing it. It's gonna be like having a it's gonna be like having a tent. Except you can better. poop in it and you know sleep. <laughs> a lot in it. better than a tent. So you might be wondering like how do you cook without a water pump? We're at this beautiful harvest house in Long Beach, Washington, but how do you get water out of your tank? I mean we filled it up a couple days ago. We had like 40, 45 gallons. Well this is this is how this is how we're gonna flush our toilet. We're this is how we're gonna cook. Uh, when we're not ha we don't have a city water hookup and we're not able to pump water because our water pump is broke. So we use a jug. We use Caitlin's jug. Let's go take a look. Let's go fill her up. Yeah, so our fresh water tank still says that it's full. Caitlin, let's, uh, let's see how you do it. So we've got this valve underneath there that releases the water inside the tank. And uh, that's how we're gonna get the water out um, of our water tank right now. Because when your water pump breaks, well, I think that should be fine. That's should be good. <laughs> we're gonna have a jug of water in the bathroom, and if you gotta do number two, number one, well, if it's brown, flush it down with the water in the. Use the in jug. The, Use the jug of water. So as as annoying as it was this morning, there's always a solution. Even if it's a jug of water. I can see you your own breath in your trailer. <laughs> it's kind of cold here. I don't recommend the Pacific Coast Highway in the winter. And we really are just starting it too. <laughs> It's just, it's just hard. It's very hard. Yesterday we had a water pump break and I can't even, we can't even look at it because it's, it's 40 degrees and it's sideways rain. And yesterday I, I got a glimpse of hope. There was like five minutes of uh, sunshine and uh, I thought, oh, it's, it's just going to be perfect tomorrow. And then you look at the forecast and it's literally like, 35 mile an hour gusts and sideways rain and it's just we're not built for this i've decided at this time at this time last year we were literally driving across the united states and don't don't get me wrong we froze our ass off but we were in shorts a lot it was a, it was a dry freeze so like we like just give me one or the other like it's either gonna be raining and like warm or it's freezing cold but it's dry like i can handle one at a time but I'm not meant to freeze and be wet and deal with the wet dog and it's it's just too much. These are the things that you do. I feel like a complete tourist. Hi, 
I don't, I don't really know what to film. So this is Mikey's house from the Goonies. So it's like, the, his, like one of the coolest things to do in Astoria, Oregon. Because 